Hi guys, it's Miss Ellen and I'm here with Jaden. And we want to start with our feelings check-in. How are you guys feeling today? Hmm. How about you, babe? I'm feeling kind of frustrated. Frustrated? That's a big word. What does that mean? Because my legs are really sore from doing gymnastics. So you're a little exhausted. And I wanted to to keep doing it today, but now Mm. I can't. So So it's something that you wanted to keep doing and you couldn't Mm -hmm. because your body is telling you to slow it down? Yeah. You know, and that's actually, we should listen to our bodies because often they try and tell us something like a yawn. Just saying it makes a yawn. Oh, yeah. Maybe I need some sleep. But anyway, um, today we're going to do fun with Q-tips. So hopefully you guys have some at home. Um, we're going to start by doing picking bones, if you will. We're going to call them bones. Show, can you show everybody what they look like? They're just little white Q-tips. So kind of look like bones too. So picking up bones, so you're going to pick them up for me? What, black paper. We're using some black paper too. So I'm going to use them like chopsticks. Okay. So that, when Jade, what Jaden's doing now is using her fine motor skills, and fine motor are like the little, those little muscles in your fingers, and you have other fine motor stuff, but, um, so you're giving, you're picking them up and giving them to me, you're using them like chopsticks, but you can also pick them up like this, right, with those two fingers, right, because those can be hard to pick up, or picking up coins is another way that you can um, work on your fine motor skills, buttoning, zipping, all those work on them as well, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you got them? Okay, yep. so next what we're going to do is we're going to make our name in with the bones, right? So I'm going to do, oh man, <laughs> there, we go. there we go. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. So we're going to pick them up, probably should have glued them first, but you want to, and I'm going to make mine an abbreviated name, you want to use your... Yeah, I'm going to do JJ. Okay, you're gonna use JJ. I'm gonna grab another flu. You keep going, kiddo. It's kind of relaxing doing this because, like, it just is. You find it relaxing? Yeah. Cool. All right, so we're just putting a little bit of glue on the ends. Whoops. And then sticking them down to help make them stick. I think this one might be a little bit. Ah. Try that. How you doing there, kid? Great. Oh my God, this one is really hard. There we go. I might just do my first letter so I can work on something else. But then if you're done, you can show everybody what the x-ray name looks like. And the next one we're gonna do is going to be making a skeleton um, of yourself. So what you need for that is you could get a real picture of yourself or you can draw a picture of yourself on a piece of paper. We wanna use black paper. And the reason we wanna use black paper is because when we do the x-rays and the skeletons, it contrasts. It's the contrast, yeah. So it's it shows up um, against the other one, right? So you can even put it on the paper if that's easy. Or you can do white paper and black Q-tips. Some people have black Q-tips, but white Q-tips are more. But your bones are white, so if you're yeah. going to use them as bones. So I did E-L, right? So I counted how many I needed. One, two, three, four, five, six for that. Um, I didn't do my full name. I just did L. This doesn't really look... Oh, no. Well, I did JJ, which is kind of falling apart here. No, my beautiful art. No. So you've got that going, and that's pretty cool. Here we go. Back on the screen. Okay. Oh man. So then now I'm making a skeleton of my favorite person. Me. Yours truly, JJ. Oh. So I'm taking one and I'm making it for the body. I might need a little tape here. And another one, another three for the ribs. These things. Yeah. And I'm going to put those on. I feel like, like it's oddly satisfying to just put glue on the Q-tips. Yeah? Yeah. It's kind of relaxing. Okay. 
That's scary. That's scary? Yeah. I look like one of those like zombies that you, or skeletons that you see on like Halloween. And movies. honestly, this would probably look better if I cut some of these beforehand, which oh. I didn't do. Um, but you can also, I'm doing one for like the body, like when you draw a strict fi stick figure yourself, then I'm doing the ribs off of it. I'm doing that across. Arms, one, ah! one for each arm. Legs. And one for each leg. And if you want to be really fancy, you can cut them into little pieces to make feet, feet, hands, hands, fingers. Um, oh, that would be really cool, actually. Yeah. So I'm just trying to put the finishing touches on this one. Okay, perfect. I don't know if it'll stay. I'm trying to hold it up carefully. So I did this Surprise. of JJ. So I cut a picture, an old picture of Jaden, and I put it there. And then we've got one Q-tip here, one out diagonally for each arm, her body, the ribs, and the legs. And you've got an X-ray skeleton of our girl JJ. So three things you can do with Q-tips. Picking them up, writing your name, and making an X-ray skeleton of yourself. All right, um, any questions, let us know, but have some fun with Q-tips. Um, work together, make a whole family of skeletons, whatever you guys want to do, but have fun with them um, and work those fine motor skills. All right, guys, stay well, and we'll see you soon, hopefully. Bye. Bye.